Thieves targeting school district vehicles last night. They're looking for an easy score. San Antonio ISD says 20 catalytic converters were stolen out of a main vehicle yard on Roland Avenue off of I-10. But the school district hopes it will be harder for the thieves to sell these particular parts. Garrett Berger tells us why. The San Antonio ISD's plant operations and transportation facility holds about 130 vehicles, buses and maintenance a tempting target for catalytic converter thieves. We had 20 of what we call our white fleet vehicles, and that is from pl our plant service and maintenance department. Each vehicle's catalytic converter could cost between twelve and $1,600. And assuming the parts shop has them in stock, it would take around two weeks to get them all repaired. And this impacts our budget because these are funds that weren't budgeted for. And so that means the district will have to take these funds elsewhere. Um, typically, um, it's like taking funds away from the classroom. According to a March news release from the National Insurance Crime Bureau, catalytic converter thefts were skyrocketing nationwide during the pandemic. The value of the precious metals used in them has risen significantly in recent years, the group says, and recyclers will typically pay 50 to 250 bucks per converter. But the district has done what it can to make these particular converters hard to sell. Over the course of the last month, it's happened periodically. And so actually, ironically, what we started doing is we started spray painting um, our catalytic converter, converters a bright orange. Plus, they've inscribed SAISD on them, making it hard to ignore where they're coming from. They want any salvage yard that sees them to call it in. In the meantime, the district says its police department and SAPD are investigating and checking surveillance video. Garrett Berger, KSAT 12 News.